we had to help. Um, you know, every child deserves an incredible summer camp experience. With 500 campers of its own, those who run Girard College say they feel there's always room for one, or in this case, 65 more. And Girard has the facilities um, to be able to provide that opportunity, so there was no question that we had to do something. Administrators of the college are stepping in after a Philadelphia day camp says a suburban swim club rescinded a paid membership of the campers. I am so excited. The vice president called. I have a meeting with them tomorrow and they welcomed and opened the campus up to the children. Creative Steps Day Camp had been in search of a new pool to fill its Monday afternoon swim times after the Valley Swim Club in Lower Moreland returned the camp's membership fees, more than $1,900. One child we spoke to says after the camp's first trip there late last month, the kids say they didn't feel welcome. And I heard this lady, she was like, uh, what are all these black kids doing here? She's like, I'm scared they might do something to my child. The president of the Valley Swim Club told NBC10 over the phone there was a concern a lot of kids would change the complexion and atmosphere of the club. We just think it's great camp and we just like to try to help people. Since our story aired on the air and online, NBC10 and the camp have been contacted by a number of people offering help. From Gerard College, who's offering the pool, to the owners of Gumdrops and Sprinkles, who offered these kids a free day of candy and ice cream making. I thank Channel 10. I appreciate you for getting the story out there, giving the children, the inner city children, the opportunity to have a place to swim.